Greetings fellow people on the interwebs. My name is, it doesn't matter, and today we're gonna take a look at the RSS3 idea. I call it idea even though it's the name of the project, because here's the thing when it comes to RSS and where the 3 comes into the entire name. So you know how everything is like not decentralized and we are moving towards decentralization for basically everything? Well with that one single sentence you kind of already understand the idea of what RSS3 brings to the table. And that is that they want to be the backbone of anything that has to do with social media while having that feed also being decentralized, if that makes sense. So right now when giant companies out there like let's say SoundCloud, Spotify, Twitter, Instagram, whoever uses different technology for the feed for everything that you get to see. None of that is decentralized. Everything is in the power of them. If they got a power outage and their servers don't work, well there's no Instagram. The feed you look at and the information displayed right there has been kind of the same thing for a very long time. And that is where our SS3 comes into the game. Because they are the next generation feed standard that aims to support efficient and decentralized information distribution. So what they try to do and want to do is create a fully decentralized network that is flexible, efficient and be the backbone of this industry. You can also see in the top left corner that they do have a token sell right now and I think I will also have a link down below. This one goes on for exactly three days. Depending on when you see this, this countdown timer might be closer to its end than it is right now. What I can do in here is right there where my camera is. If I disappear for a second, you can connect with your wallet, MetaMask for example, and then grab yourself some of the tokens in case you think this one would be something worth investing into or looking into more after this video is over. I will have the links to everything down below like in every video I ever made. Just know that this one is not financial advice. I'm just here to show Focus you what they're working on, what it's all about, and showing you the possibility of giving them your money. Also on this side over here, they say that in the white paper we can exactly learn how they want to do what they want to do. And before we jump into that, here's what they actually help with and give power to when it comes to the different applications. They got things like in-group, flounce, Reverie, show me in here, and for example, the Cheers Bio, your Web3 in one shot. If you were to connect to that site, for example, you all you gotta do is click on MetaMask, click on next and click on connect. You then get a page like this, for example, where you as the user, you are your wallet address, basically. You can select between hybrid, web three only. And that, for example, would be an application, a social media feed that is made possible because of RSS3. Obviously, just to mention it at this point, this is in its infancy stage. But because web two and everything that has to do with that is fully developed, we're now at the start of web three and everything that has to do with that. And so they're working on a platform that is decentralized so that things like privacy infringements, censorship and similar things are a part of the past. Now, personally, I never talk about political because I don't want to. But for example, Donald Trump, he got banned from Twitter. Kinda weird if you ask me. If Twitter would be decentralized, he wouldn't get banned in the first place. Now that's the only example that came to mind. But kind of like take this thought and think it further and you can see how giving all the power to a single person or a single company when it comes to social media is a terrible idea. And so they're working on tackling these problems. Because of the RSS3 standard that they're working on, they want a network to be financially self-sustained while also being stable and secure. Now in case you are a magician and you understand understand those ancient runes they use over here, then this white paper probably has a lot more to offer to you than to me. But I feel like with my current level of understanding, I would just skip to the conclusion where they want to be the next generation standard for information distribution. A roundabout fun fact is that the chief technical officer of RSS3 is a famous open source community founder over here on GitHub. So again, if you understand code and anything that has to do with that, you might have heard the name before. And when it comes to people and other companies, venture capitalists, so to say, that believe in the project and already invested into it, we got a list of quite a few on Dragonfly to Coinbase to Mask and even Hubie, for example. Overall, and that is just something that always comes to my mind, is if people get paid a whole lot of money to only do research, to find projects to invest into, and not just one, or 10, but like 25 of companies and venture capital funds that do nothing but research, trying to invest into things earlier than anybody else, and they all invest into this idea, into this project, then there might be at least something behind it, something of substance, or all of those different funds over here wouldn't back the project. At least that's one way of thinking. You could also think that one of them did the research and everybody else copied the homework, but you would think that they do a whole lot of research and only invest into things that make sense. What they also got over here is their own blog on a Notion page, where, in case you're interested, you can read about everything that has happened so far in the project, in the development, for example, on Polygon X them. We learned that back in October of last year. The notes are fully supported on the Polygon network. An introduction page in case you want to read on this for yourself when it comes to their own token. We can see the token allocation of the 1 billion tokens in total down here. But even 64% goes to the community. Now my tokenomics understanding has not been the greatest because they never know what to base things on. But I think usually only 15 to 20% is actually sold to the public, to the community. But in here it's two thirds. And only 10% for the private sale. And I guess that is good because 
is this more for the community, therefore it's better. That line of thought might have a lot of flaws, but to me it makes sense. So in case you like the idea and you understand everything that is mentioned in here, then what you could do is connect your MetaMask on the site, and for example, grab yourself 28 tokens for $10. I mean, you can see the price right there, the math checks out. Just know that this one is still going on for 2 days and 17 hours when I record this video, so probably closer to 1 or 2 days whenever you see this. As always though, links to everything in the description down below. Now that this one is not financial advice, but coincidentally, you can give the money if you want it, at least in this 3 day time frame. So I would just say, I see you in a new video fairly soon, probably tomorrow. And until then, have a good rest of your day and take care.